welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos well today I'm going to put my foundation on my face with something that I haven't used before and I'm talking about my beauties with this and this is my brown I don't know what to call it I clean my face with this and take you can uh, replace this brush too so you push the button and you take uh, this off and I have uh, four different brushes now I add these three are for cleaning the face and this one is to for the moisturizer or foundation now I'm going to try to use this sponge to apply my foundation I saw many videos about these kind of beauty sponges or brushes uh, and I wanted to try mine. I haven't tried it. I don't know if you're supposed to wet it or not. I don't know. But this is the sponge. And I haven't used it. Use it. It's very soft. I don't know if you should wet it or something. I won't do it, but we'll see. We're going to place it here. It says click and it's ready. Now I uh, had this hangover face primer on my face. I love this one. This one smells so nice. And I already made a video with this makeup look. I used this Revolution palette, Neutrals versus Neutrals. I used the because I wanted to try this new, my new long wear eyeshadow base from Lancome in color Nude 03. And that video I will put a link down below if you're interested to see. And before we start, let's look at my t-shirt. I could give up shopping, but no, I'm not a quitter. Love that t-shirt. I bought it, I think, for one or two years ago when I was in Berlin with my friends. Love it. It makes me happy every time I wear it. Now let's start. I have my mirror ready, my foundation is ready, and my brown beauty sponge is ready. I, like I said, I don't know if you're supposed to wear it. The, vi the videos that I saw with people trying this out, they didn't wet it. So we'll see. I will put right there. I think I put a little bit too much. We'll see. very flawless when I uh, take a closer look it looks very nice and very flawless but I think I'm going to need more of this foundation it feels like I almost have to use more product than I usually do but we'll see It looks very natural, very nice blended and uh, let's zoom in so you can see closer. So I'm very nice, very close to you right now but as you can see my skin through but it looks okay. It's still not the best coverage that as I get with my beauty blender. I don't know if it works better if this sponge is wet. Then I'm going to try to contour my face to uh, this sponge and I'm going to use uh, this LA Girl Pro Concealer and in the shade Expresso.
too much color on my face doesn't really blend it in as my beauty blender let me show you how my beauty blender blends it this espresso is a dark, much darker than my skin but I really like using it and blending it with my beauty blender because it looks so natural and beautiful see the difference this is my beauty blender and this is with this can you see big difference so I'm going to blend everything with my beauty blender so now makeup is ready do I like this sponge applying foundation kind of I think it did, did a good job not wonderful but it's a good job I'll try of course to wet this sponge and try to use it as damp as uh, I have my beauty blender maybe that will work better it's not feels as almost as soft as the beauty blender it doesn't really work to blend in my contour, cream contour because it just moves around the product it doesn't really blend it into my skin as it did with the foundation I won't use this again to apply my foundation it just, I just feel it takes a little bit too long it faster takes less time when I use my beauty blender that's why I love this sponge or beauty sponge but I love beauty blender I really will continue using this to clean my face as I normally did. That's everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye!